Berner Sport Club Young Boys 1898 is a Swiss sporting club based in the capital city of Bern. The name is often abbreviated to YB. Abroad, YB is often referred to as Young Boys Bern or simply Young Boys. The club's colors are yellow and black. The first team plays in the Swiss Axpo Super League and has won 11 Swiss League championships and six Swiss Cups. In 1957, YB was named the Swiss Team of the Year. YB is one of the most successful Swiss football clubs internationally, and reached the semi-finals of the European Cup in the 1958 Euro 59 season. The club's sports also include field hockey and bowling. The women's hockey team also plays in the highest Swiss league. History, 1898 Euro 1902, the founding, in 1897, brothers Max and Oskar Schwab, Hermann Bauer and Franz Kierlai studied at the University of Bern. After hosting a game of football with the Basel Old Boys Association playing against Farball Club Bern, they founded Football Club Young Boys on March 14, 1898. The four of them chose yellow and black to be the club colours. The slightly older FC Bern submitted an offer to the YB leadership to provide grounds, changing rooms, and equipment if these students would play as a team affiliated with FCB. YB would still have its own leadership and its own statutes. This offer was accepted. According to Club Chronicles, the first game was a victory on June 17, 1898 against FC Victoria. The first official game was on June 29, 1898 against the Institute Gras 1 quarter now. The team had in its ranks a number of prominent players. But the game ended in a tie, and the return game on October 17 went 1 a Euro 0 for the Young Bernese club. Some of the young boys appeared increasingly in the FC Bern first team, affecting the incumbent Bern players. On December 30, 1898, the young boys held an election to either combine with FC Bern or strike out on their own. The vote by a large majority was to abandon the merger, leading to a bitter rivalry especially on the part of FC Bern. Successes in the spring games in 1900 showed that YB was on a successful path. However, many were still convinced that FC Bern was the stronger team. For this reason, the organizers of the Federal Schwingfests arranged a game between the rivals. The game took place on August 26 before some 3,000 people who had mostly come to see an exotic sport on display. The game ended, however, with an indecisive score of 1 a Euro 1. On August 17, nine days earlier, YB was admitted to the Swiss Football Association. The two teams were increasingly separated from each other, and their venues also became ever further apart. FC Bern played in the southwestern part of the city, while FC Young Boys place almost in the centre. The newly selected sports ground on Chilenma currency TTELI, however, had its advantages and disadvantages. Due to its location adjacent to the Ill River, the grounds were often flooded and marshy. Because of his central location, however, the club was followed by many Bern residents. With an agreement on October 14, 1901, the club leased its grounds from the city of Bern for three years. The entire area encompassed 10,975 square meters for only 257 francs per month. Therefore, the requirements for a regular playing field were finally fulfilled. 1902 Euro 1925, the early years, YB began to be successful very early on. Against Lausanne they celebrated a surprising 2 Euro 2 draw and on October 26, 1902 a 7 Euro 0 victory over Fortuna Basel. In these years YB also came out from the shadow of FC Bern. YB beat their city rivals away 3 a Euro 1 and on March 8, 1903 5 a Euro 0 at home. YB won the championship of the Central League and were invited to play in the finals of the Swiss Championship. On March 22 was the first final against FC Zar 1 quarter rich. YB played, among others, the two Schwal brothers, and they beat Zurich 3 a Euro 1. On March 29 YB faced the West champion FC Nutra Cent Telephone. The guests from Nutra Cent Tel were the clear favourites, because the Bern club had lost to them one month before won a Euro 4. This caused Nutra Cent Tel to make the error of underestimating the young boys. 
the Nutra Centel defense completely broke apart when the YB striker Walter Frey found the net shortly after half time to post a 1 0 0 lead. The game ended with a one sided 5 0 0 result, and YB, after only five years of existence, had won their first Swiss football championship. After having trained for the early years on the Schellenma currency TTELI, below the Kirschenfeld Bridge, YB played from the year 1904 at Spitalacker Platz. In subsequent seasons the young boys did not win the championship but were always in the top three in the regional group. It took six years for YB to achieve further successes. In 1909, the Berners defeated FC Winterthur in Basel in the finals won a Euro Zero. The next year, the young boys won the championship finals against FC RRI 3 a Euro 1 and against FC Sauvet Geneva 2 a Euro 1. Again in 1911, Sauvet Geneva and FC Tsar won Quarterich could not prevent YB's fourth championship overall and third in a row. It was the first title hat-trick in the history of the Swiss Football Association. YB was also in 1910 and the two following years the champion of the Anglo Cup, the predecessor of today's Swisscom Cup. At the time, the fans spoke of a time all opponents dreaded, the YB quarter hour 15 minutes before the end of the game. The players sustained their efforts throughout the 90 minutes so effectively that the opponents began to run down after about 75 minutes. An example is the 1910 finals between the YB and RO, where until the 80th minute the score stood at 1 a Euro 1. Similarly, in the game against Sauvet in the final round in 1911, up through the 72nd minute the game was a 1 a Euro 1 draw, but three goals in the last 18 minutes turned the result decisively for YB to clinch the title hat trick. In 1913, the English football instructor Reynold Williams became the first coach of the club. Shortly thereafter the First World War erupted, and Spitalacker Platz was converted to a potato field. YB arranged to rent facilities at Kirschfeld for 1,400 francs per year. The military also made space available at the barracks for the team's use. Despite these hardships, the club won Swiss League Championship again in 1920. After the war, the team again played on the Spitalacker Platz. However, the ground no longer suited the requirements of the young boys, so they searched for alternatives. They found space at the northeastern border of the city at the Wankdefeld, and construction was initiated. 1925 a Euro 1951, new name and new stadium. In 1925, the association's name was changed from FC Young Boys to Berner Sport Club Young Boys. This year was also the last game on the old Spitalacker Platz. In October, the new Wankdorf Stadium by the architects Scheller and Berger was opened with a tournament. It was attended by the old boys from Basel, Sauvet Geneva, and the young boys. The new sports complex included a main grandstand with 1,200 covered seats, a restaurant, changing rooms, a training hall and a training ground. In total, the new stadium held 22,000 spectators including covered standing room for 5,000. YB now had a large and modern stadium, which intensified the rivalry with FC Bern, because the older association continued to play at the small and outdated Neufeldplatz. The two clubs went so far as to negotiate a contract, facilitated by central president Schlegel, to prevent discord. In 1929, YB once again progressed to the final round of the Swiss Championship. The first game, on a Sunday, pitted Urania Geneva Sport against YB, the second a week later Grasshoppers against Urania GC, and on the third Sunday in the final YB GC. The first game in Geneva ended with a 0 a Euro 0 draw, which satisfied the Bernese. When the Grasshoppers beat Geneva in Zurich 3 a Euro 0, the chances for YB to win the title decreased tremendously. In the third game, the guests from Zurich needed only a draw to win the championship for the third time in a row. For this final on June 30, the young boys used replacement goalkeeper Eric Jung in the offensive midfield due to staff shortages. Striker Joan Baumgartner also scored a goal and YB prevented the championship hat trick with a 2 a Euro 0 win. On February 10, 1930, the club purchased an additional strip of land from the community. Having noted that the stadium was too small, 
increasing the entire area of the Wankdip Stadium ground to 35,585 square meters. The 1930 Young Boys became the first to celebrate a Swiss Cup championship. The Swiss Cup had been initiated only five years earlier following the discontinuation of the Anglo Cup at the First World War. With 30,000 spectators crowding Wankdiff YB beat FC Omarai won the Euro Zero. In the following 15 years, YB won neither a league title nor a cup championship. However, the team was also rarely in the bottom half of table. During this time, Wankdiff continued to expand. The capacity of the stadium increased by building an extension to 42,000 spectators costing the association an additional 300,000 francs. Furthermore, another training field was added. Towards the end of the 1930s the world economic crisis started and Swiss football felt the effects. The attendance figures fell steadily, and the Sportplatz Bittelacker could no longer meet its financial obligations. After the outbreak of the Second World War, the club considered selling the stadium. However, through a debt reduction and the help of the city of Bern in 1943, the finances of the club were rehabilitated. At that point, the stadium group changed its name to Verein Fußballstadion Wankdorf. During the Second World War, the Bernese succeeded but could not claim a title. Only in 1945, at the end of the war, came the next success, YB won the second cup against FC St. Gallen with a 2-0 victory at Espen Moos. Two seasons later the Bernese were relegated to the National League B. It would be three seasons until they returned to the highest league where they would then remain for over 50 years. 1951 a Euro 1964, the golden years under coach Albert Singh, in 1951 Norbert Eric Jones was replaced after only one year as the manager by the previously unknown Albert Singh. At that time, no one anticipated the successful years YB would experience under the German coach. Singh acted initially as a player coach before he decided to become a trainer only. During his tenure YB experienced its most successful period. The team was reinforced by high-level transfers such as Eugene Jenny Meyer. Considerable success during this period was also attributed to the goalkeeper Walter Reich, who was one of the best in the history of the young boys. Later, the team consisted of top players like Heinz Schneid and Ernst Wechselberger. For the 1954 World Cup, the capacity of the Wankdorf Stadium was increased from around 30,000 to more than 60,000 seats. In the spring of 1953 the young boys again advanced to the cup. YB met Grasshopper Tsar one quarter rich in the final pairing, and the clubs drew one a Euro one. Five weeks later the teams met in a replay, which went to the Bernese three a Euro one. In the summer of that year YB was invited to tour North America. The team played there against some American teams, Liverpool, and the Irish national team. YB produced impressive results overseas for Swiss football and was enthusiastically received by thousands upon their return to Bern. From 1957 and 1960, YB were Swiss champions four times in a row, a feat that no other team has accomplished since. During this time YB became one of the more successful teams in European football and was superior to all Swiss opponents. 1958 bought yet another cup, when YB defeated GC in a final replay for a Euro 1. Young boys also achieved success in European competition. At their first appearance in the European Championship they were politically disadvantaged, however. The Bernese drew the races Budapest, the Hungarian club of the Interior Ministry. Some Swiss politicians demanded that no Swiss sports club should have contacts with the Hungarian football club, especially in Bern, the capital. The leaders of Soviet Geneva made their Shamil Stadium available for one game. 20,000 spectators supported YB in Geneva during a 1 Euro 1 draw against the Hungarians. In the return match the young boys fell 1 Euro 2. The following year, their opponents in the European Cup were once again from Hungary, this time MTK Budapest. YB won the leg in the NEP Stadium to a Euro 1. November 26, 1958 saw the European premiere in Wankdorf. 28,000 spectators celebrated the young boys for a Euro 1 victory. In the second round, 
YB met the East German champions SC as mit Chemnitz and the Wankdorf was filled with 32,000 spectators. The teams drew 2 a Euro 2 after a 2 a Euro 0 lead for the young boys. A week later, the teams met in the GDR. The game ended 0 a Euro 0, which at that time required a deciding game. This took place on April 1, 1959 in the Amsterdam Olympic Stadium before 35,000 spectators, and YB won 2 a Euro 1. Thus the young boys qualified for the semi-finals of the European Championship. Their opponents in the semi-finals were Stade de Reims. The game of games in the history of the yellow and black took place on April 15, 1959, a rainy Wednesday. 60,000 spectators packed into Wankdorf but the crowd may have exceeded the official count. After an impressive performance YB1 won a Euro 0 on a Jenny Meyer goal in the 13th minute. The game was a legend in Bern. Stade Reims received the Benies in the return match at the Parc des Princes in Paris, where the Frenchman won 3 a Euro 0 and thus reached the final. No other Swiss team besides FC Zar won quarter riches since found as much success in an international competition as the BSC Young Boys did in this season. In 1960, YB played internationally once again. In the first round they met Eintracht Frankfurt. Frankfurt won the first game in Bern for a Euro 1 before 36,000 spectators. In the return game in Frankfurt's Wallstadion YB at least managed to win a Euro 1 draw. In 1961, the team first went to Ireland where they met Limerick FC YB1 on the island with an impressive 5 a Euro 0 showing, then again for a Euro 2 in front of 22,000 spectators at Wankdorf in the return leg. In the second round YB met Hamburger SV, with their star striker Ur Sela, in what was the first European Cup game in that team's history. 45,000 spectators were at the game in the Wankdorf where Hamburg stunned YB with a 5 a Euro 0 victory. In Hamburg, the Benes improved upon their previous performance, earning a 3 a Euro 3 draw before 40,000 spectators in the Volkspark Stadium. It would be the last appearance in Europe for YB for a long time. After four league titles, a European Cup run and many successes the young boys travelled 31 days through the Far East. In five weeks, the Benes visited 10 countries and played several friendly matches against Asian teams. Albert Singh left BSC Young Boys in 1964 and is still the most successful coach in the history of the club. 1964 Euro 1984, descent to a normal club, the successor to Albert Singh had large shoes to fill. Average performance was no longer acceptable to the discriminating Benes supporters. Heinz Bigler and Hans Grau won quarter TTE or took over the training until Hans Merkel ultimately succeeded Singh. Merkel had the misfortune to be measured against the championships of his predecessor. Although Jenny Meyer, Ernst Wechselberger and other players from the championship years continued to play, it mattered little. Merkel was a hard coach of the German school, however, and was able to keep YB in the top half of the table, with finishes of second, fifth and seventh. The mixture of old and young players did not provide the results the Benes sought, however. Otto Messerli, then a junior in the first team squad, who in later years would be captain of the young boys, described the situation, there were many good ideas, but FC Basel and FC Tsar one quarter it remained unattainable for us. This was also no different for the Merkel successors Skiba, Schneider und Dijk, Bra one quarter LLS. Peters and Linda, the young boys reached big games on occasion, but over the long term their performance was unspectacular. Still, some YB players rose to national recognition. The Dutchman Bert Thunissen replaced Meyer and Wexelberger in 1964 as gunner, and he became Swiss scoring champion before he left YB. A good replacement for him was found, however, the Benes bought Dieter Brenninger from FC Bayern Munich. Another new transfer, Walter Weil Muir, played between 1967 and 1972 for YB, and was a dreaded striker for opposing defenders. In the late 60s and the 70s the Bunnies met with little success. As YB were runners-up in the 1974 Euro 75 season, they finally returned to European competition. In the first round of the UEFA Cup they faced Hamburger SV once again. 
In the first leg before 17,000 spectators in the Wangdorf, the two teams played to 0 a Euro 0. HSV won at home in their Volkspark Stadium for a Euro 2, and the young boys were bounced from the competition early. The young boys' side for these games included Jacob Brechtel one quarter HL and Karl Odemart among others. It took until 1977 before YB would again win a title. Under coach Kurt Linder the cup was brought to Bern for the fifth time. Thanks to this title, YB qualified for the preliminary round of the Cup Winners' Cup. The Bernese faced a daunting challenge in the form of the Rangers of Glasgow. In Ebrox Park YB played strongly and lost only 0 a Euro 1. The return game in front of 17,000 spectators at Wank defended 2 a Euro 2, and Rangers advanced. The young boys again underwent a change of coaches when Rina copyright Ha one quarter Sai replaced Linda. 1979 again saw YB in the European Cup Winners' Cup. On September 19, 1979, only 6,700 spectators came to Wankdorf to see the game against Stoa Bucharest, which ended 2 a Euro 2. Before this game, YB had lost three consecutive championship games, which may have contributed to the lack of fans. The goals were scored by Stoka, Zweigart, Lord Anissen and Schaparagraf Nenberger. Two weeks later, the young boys lost in Bucharest 0 a Euro 6. They are known for singing a famous song which is named We Love You We Love You which has had thousands of hits on the internet. 1984 Euro 1991, the Manzirin era, turbulent times continued in the Wangdorf. After many coaching changes, in 1984 Alexander Manzira was engaged as the manager. The quiet Pole with a German passport played offensive football and was known for hard training sessions. In his first years, the young boys reached only ninth place. In the next season, 1985 a Euro 86, not all went for YB but the team still managed to finish the preliminary round in fifth. During the winter break, the Swede Robert Preitz joined the YB midfield as a playmaker alongside Georges Bredi, and YB achieved an incomparable return round. The point advantage of the leaders Xamax slowly melted round by round. On May 24, 1986 the showdown came in Nutra St. Elma Lady Re, before a crowd of 21,500 including visiting YB spectators. The young boys came away with a 4 a Euro 1 result. Lars Lund, Danish scoring champion, and Dario Sophie each connected twice and YB after 26 years finished in championship position. In the first round of the European Championship, the Bernese drew Real Madrid with their top stars such as Hugo Zar NCHEZ and Emilio Butragui plus or minus O. 32,000 spectators descended on Wankdorf, despite torrential rain, for the match on September 17, 1986. Erzbaum had headed in a goal to provide the 1 Euro 0 margin of victory against the guests from Spain. For the return leg, 75,000 spectators occupied Bernabeu Stadium in Madrid. Until the 75th minute, the advantage stood at only 1 a Euro 0 for the home side. But the 2 a Euro 0 by Jorge Baldano broke the defense of the young boys, and Real Madrid went on to win 5 a Euro 0. In 1987 YB won the cup for the sixth time. In the finals they defeated FC Sovet Geneva for a Euro 2 in a replay. In the first round of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, Young boys travelled to Donačka Strida in Czechoslovakia, where the Czechs won their home leg to a Euro 1. Before 8,100, YB prevailed in Bern 3 a Euro 1 and qualified for the second round. In the round of 16 the Bernese visited FC Den Haag, where they lost 1 a Euro 2. In the return match in Bern only 6,400 spectators braved the icy chill of the Wankdorf. A 1 a Euro 0 YB victory was enough to progress into the quarter-finals. The next opponent was again from the Netherlands, this time Ajax of Amsterdam. Temperatures of minus 6 on March 9, 1988 caused Wankdorf to be rather sparsely occupied with only 7,686 spectators. Ajax won the game 1 a Euro 0. The return leg in Amsterdam before 30,000 spectators saw the Bernese lose again 1 a Euro 0 and they were eliminated from the competition. 1991 a Euro 2001, down and up, 
Serie A highlight of the 90s was the Cup finale against FC Sion in 1991. The Wankdorf Stadium was packed with 50,000 spectators, with both teams contributing to the atmosphere. At half-time, the Benes led to a Euro Zero, but Sin shot back in the second half with three goals to win the Cup. In 1993, YB qualified for the UEFA Cup and met Celtic FC of Scotland in the first round. Only 7,300 spectators came to the stadium for the home leg, and the game ended 0 a Euro 0. The young boys fell in Celtic Park in Glasgow before 21,500 spectators in extra time won a Euro 0 with Andrew Copyright Bowman netting an own goal in the 105th minute. In the mid-90s the former football powerhouse increasingly experienced problems. The BSC young boys developed financial difficulties, and in 1997 for the first time since the 1946 Euro 47 season YB was relegated to the National League B. New Swedish coaches Roland Andersson and Thomas Jar Paragraph Berg helped the club recover, placing first and earning promotion again, with Robert Schober and Admir Smajic taking over on the bench. The following NLA season began with a surprise victory over the reigning champion Grasshoppers. Many defeats, however, forced the young boys back into the relegation playoffs. The economic and sporting emergency ended in the dismissal of coach Claude Riff. The BSC Young Boys organization stood very close to bankruptcy and few thought it still possible to salvage YB. A Lucerne investment company saved the club from ruin. Although by 1999 the debt was over 1.7 million Swiss francs. Almost the whole squad left the capital and YB competed with the shell of a team the next season. The result was disastrous, third last place after the 1999 qualification descent round. The possibility of further relegation to the first league threatened. Marco Schekar and C. Leibom took over as manager and brought in reinforcements which had a positive impact and enabled the club to stay up. On December 17, 1999, the BSC Young Boys AG was established with capital of 500,000 Swiss francs. The AG took over the operations of the first team and increased the share capital. The remaining operation remains under the previous organization. The next championship was contested with a more powerful team with new players such as Haritian Vardanyan and Garwan Kortara Kan Samata. YB won victory after victory in the autumn and inspired the loyal fans with attractive offensive football. The team earned the top place in the table and participation in the promotion playoffs, ultimately returning to the top division. New enthusiasm developed in Bern, and the attendance figures rose significantly. The first game of the 2001 Euro 02 season was the final game in Old Wankdorf Stadium. YB drew FC Lugano won a Euro 1 before 22,200 spectators, and the last goal for the Bunnies in the Old Wankdorf was tallied by Ritu Burry. 2001 Euro 2005, in the Neufeld Stadium, the young boys played at the Neufeld Stadium at the north end of town until the new, Multifunctional Stade de Suisse Wank de Fern was opened in 2005. In the autumn of 2001, with a 1 Euro 3 home defeat against Grasshoppers, a series of 25 home games without defeat came to an end. However, with a 1 Euro 0 victory in the last game against FC St. Gallen on December 9, 2001, the BSC Young Boys qualified for the final round for the first time in seven years. The start of the final round was very promising. YB played exciting football and contended for a place in an international competition but ultimately finished in seventh position. The team also reached the semi-finals of the Swiss Cup before falling in a penalty shootout to FC Basel. In 2002, YB finished the qualifying round in seventh and the final round in fourth place, earning the young boys an entry in an international competition for the first time in ten years. This season also saw star copyright Fane Trapuisat move to the club. Trapuisat is considered one of the best strikers in Swiss history. In 2003, the league was completely reformed, including the names and sizes of the two highest leagues. For the 2003 Euro 04 season, Hans Peter Zarg was named as the new head coach. They played in the first Super League, taking second place. As a result the team qualified for the 2004 Euro 05 Champions League, 
where they fell to Red Star Belgrade 5 a Euro 2 on aggregate. The domestic season 2004 a Euro 05 found them finishing in fourth place. 2005 a Euro present, in the Stade de Suisse Wank de Fern. In the summer of 2005, YB was able to begin using the newly built Wankdorf Stadion, the Stade de Suisse, after several years of construction. Only a few months later Gannot Roux signed as a coach. Although team maintained a defensive football strategy, the club succeeded with him at its head, advancing to the cup final, but losing on a penalty shootout to FC Sin. The first season at the Stade de Suisse Wankdorf, YB finished in third place qualifying for the UEFA Cup. The Benes defeated FC Mika of Armenia for a Euro 1 on aggregate in the first qualifying round to set up a very attractive match-up with French giants Olympique Marseille, but narrowly lost the tie on away goals with draws 3 a Euro 3 at home and 0 a Euro 0 away. Coach Gannot Roux was succeeded by Martin Andermatt. The debut of Andermatt was promising as YB defeated their Canton rivals FC Thun 5 a Euro 1 to open 2006 a Euro 07 league play. The team finished the season in fourth place, once again returning to the UEFA Cup. On April 14, 2007, the club president Peter Mast announced that he would resign his position at the end of the season, although he immediately joined the board of directors. His post as president was assumed by Thomas Grimm on April 17, 2007. Incidentally, in this season, with an average of 15,517 spectators in the championship, the club celebrated its highest attendance average in club history. Also at the end of the 2006-07 season, the club switched outfitters from Gems to Puma. Young boys finished runners-up in the 2009-10 season, finishing three points behind champions FC Basel despite losing only one match at home all season. They entered Champions League qualification and defeated Fina Baha Section E to set up a meeting with Tottenham Hotspur in the playoff round. YB went out to a 3 0 0 lead in the opening leg at Stade de Suisse on Tuesday, 17 August, but had to hold on for a 3 0 2 win, then, fell 4 0 0 at White Hart Lane eight nights later and went out of the competition. Following their defeat against their English rivals, Young boys still got a place in the Europa League group stage. The Benese club successfully qualified for the knockout stage of the tournament as runners-up of their group, behind group leaders Stuttgart and at the expense of GTFCF and Odense. In the round of 32 of the same tournament they faced Zenit St. Petersburg. Young boys beat their Russian opponents at home in the first leg with a 2 Euro 1 win but YB was still eliminated from the tournament after losing 3 a Euro 1 in their visit at St. Petersburg for the second leg. In the 2010 a Euro 11 season the club finished third in the league, which qualified YB to the UEFA Europa League for the next season. The following season was similar for the Yellow Blacks, finishing third once again in the league. In the same season YB failed to reach the Europa League group stage, after being knocked out by Braga with two a Euro 2 aggregate which favoured the Portuguese club because Braga scored away unlike Young Boys. Stadium Since 2005, the Young Boys have played at the Stade de Suisse, Wangdorf, Bern. The stadium can seat 31,783 spectators and is the second largest football stadium in Switzerland. The construction cost of 350 million francs was more than any other building in Switzerland. Officially, there are only stadium seats, but standing tickets are also sold. The name arises from the fact that the Stade de Suisse acts as a national stadium. However, as one of the few stadiums with artificial turf, matches are rarely held there. For the European Championships in 2008 a natural grass field was to be laid, as three group games took place there. The stadium is also the largest stadium-integrated solar power plant in the world. On the roof of the Stade de Suisse are enough solar cells to generate 700,000 kilowatt hours. The electricity powers the stadium and some houses around the Wank de Feria. Just below the playing field is one of the largest shopping centers in Switzerland and a parking facility with over 700 places. The stadium also includes schools, homes, a fitness center, several gyms and some restaurants. 
The stadium is near a highway interchange and only a few minutes drive from the main railway station in Bern and only a few minutes walk from the new Wank de Wartier station. Furthermore, there are both a bus and a tram stop near Wankdorf. Honours, Swiss Super League, winners 1903, 1909, 1910, 1911, 1920, 1929, 1957, 1958, 1959, 1960, 1986. Schweizer Cup, winners 1930, 1945, 1953, 1958, 1977, 1987. Swiss League Cup, winners 1976. Copa del Alpi, winners, 1974. Current squad, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Out on loan, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. UEFA list B, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Notable former players, see also category, BSC Young Boys Players. Managers, see also category, BSC Young Boys Managers. Presidents, European Results. See also, list of football clubs in non-Anglophone countries with English names, references. External links, official website.